Hello students, this is Swati Deshpande teacher. Today we will be taking few sums which are very very important from this chapter Simple Interest. See students you all are aware I have already uploaded two uh, videos before on this topic. This is my third video on Simple Interest. So please see all of them and even I have uploaded a complete video on Simple Interest where that I have explained all the formula involved in this particular chapter. So please see that. Okay, let's begin with this video. The first sum will appear on your screen. If rupees 50,000 amounts to rupees 62,000 in 3 years at some rate, then by the same rate, how much rupees 75,000 amounts to in 2 years? See students, here the first sentence of the question will give us the rate. Okay, and we will make use of that rate. To find out the second part of the question, let's begin. What have they given in the first sentence? Rupees 50,000 amounts to rupees 62,000. Means P is 50,000, right? Which has become A, amounts to means A, 62,000. From this, what we will know? Interest. How to find out interest from P and A? A minus P is interest. So, A is 62,000 minus 50,000 that is 12,000. So, 12,000 is simple interest or rather I. Okay. Now, we have I, we have P and they have given period that is 3 years. That is N is equal to 3 years. We have 3 things. So, from this we need to find out R. What is the formula for R? R is equal to I into 100 upon P into N, right? So, let's substitute the figures. I is 12,000 into 100 upon P is 50,000 into N is 3. Let's remove the zeros, whatever are possible. 1, 1. 1 from the numerator, 1 from the denominator. Number of zeros cancelled from the denominator and numerator has to be same. We cannot cancel additional zero anywhere. Okay. We are cancelling 4 from numerator, 4 from denominator. Now what is remaining? I am rewriting it so that it becomes easy for you to understand. 5 into 3. Right. Then 3 ones are 3, 3 fours are 12 and this one zero. 5 ones are 5, 5 eights are 40, 8 into 1, that is 8 upon 1, that is 8. Now we have got the rate, 8% from the first part of the question. Now let's go ahead with the second part of the question. The same rate, how much rupees 75,000 amounts to in 2 years? Same rate means, rate is what we have got, 8. P, how much they are saying? 75,000. N, how much they are saying? 2 years. They want to, to find out amount. But for that, we need to find out I first. So, let us find out I is equal to P into N into R upon 100. P is 75,000 into N is 2, R is 8 upon 100. Let us cancel these two zeros. 750 into 2 into 8. So, this is 1500 into 8. That is 12,000 again. You can multiply it properly and find out the answer. Okay. See, 75 into 2 is 150 plus this 0. So, I have come to know the multiplication of these two numbers. That is 1500. Then 15 eights are 120 and remaining zeros I have put. So, you can do your uh, multiplication properly. Okay. Now they are saying what is the amount? See this 12,000 will be there as one of the options. Please don't take that. Students do this much calculation and when they get 12,000 they feel this is the right answer and they choose that option 12,000. That is wrong. They don't want us to give interest. They are asking what is amount? Amount is P plus I. So one more step is remaining. Don't be in a hurry. Okay. See just one addition 
if you don't do this addition and if you choose this 12,000 even though everything is correct, two marks gone. So there is one more step, P plus I, that is 75,000 plus 12, that is 87,000. So 87,000 is the correct answer. That's why in every video I keep on telling you all, reading part has to be done properly. If we don't read it properly and stop here, that what amounts to in the question is pertaining to this part. If we do not read that properly, we will not do this. We will stop here and we will lose two marks even though we have done everything correct. That is important. That's why I keep on telling you about the correct reading. Right? Let's sum it up here on your screen. By how much is the interest on rupees 5500 for 2 years at 14 percent less than the principal? Here, how much is the interest on rupees 5500? Means 5500 is the initial amount that is principal. Period is two years, rate is 14. Let's find out I. What is the formula for I? I is equal to P. I is equal to P into N into R upon 100. So, P is 5500 into 2 into 14 upon 100. Two zeros gone. So what is remaining? 55 into 2 into 14. What is the multiplication? This multiplication has to be done properly students. Okay. The multiplication is 1540. There will be one of the option as 1540. Sure. And if you choose that, two marks gone. Even though you have done this multiplication correctly, you have used this formula correctly, you have arrived at the answer correctly, but still two marks gone. Again, that reading part plays a very, very vital role. Okay? What is the question? What are they asking? By how much is the interest less than the principal? Here, this is interest, this is principal. What is the difference? That is what they are asking. They are not asking how much is the interest. They are asking how much is interest less than principal. Means they want us to find out P minus I. Only one subtraction. Like the earlier sum, only one addition would have made a difference in marks. Whether you will get two marks or no. Similarly, a simple subtraction is going to make a difference. Whether two marks are into the pocket or gone. Okay. That's why reading is very very important. Read the sum properly. 4, 10, 7, 8, 9, 10, 6, 4, 14, 9 and this 3. This is the correct answer. Okay. The student who does all this will not be able to do this simple subtraction. He or she can. But if the student doesn't read the sum properly, they will feel that 1540 I have got and there is an option. So I am right. Correct? That's why reading has to be done properly. 100 times I must have told you by now. Reading has to be done properly. Correct? Now you know why I am saying that. Okay? Chal. Aage hai the amount on a certain principal at 8% for 2 years is rupees 29,000. What is the amount of the same principal at the same rate of interest for 3 years? What have they given us? The amount on certain principal at 8% for 2 years is 29,000. Amount is 29,000 for 2 years at 8%. Right? Rate is 8. What is the amount on the same principal? We don't know the principal. At the same rate, rate is same and number of years. 3. They want us to find out this. See, amount is based on interest and principal, right? Principal plus interest is amount. Here they have not given principal. We cannot find out interest. 
then how to arrive at the amount? In this kinds of sum, even though this is the sum of simple interest, we have to use unitary method. This is the simplest form of a question from this topic. Students are afraid of this type of, type of sums, but actually they are the easiest one. Okay, because no formula of simple interest, just a unitary method which you have learned in earlier standards, right? Okay, let's see how to do it. See, 29,000 in 2 years, they want us to find out for 3 years how much. So, if for 2 years it is 29,000, so first let's find out for 1 year. Unitary method. 2 say 1 pe aana hai, 1 say 3 pe jana hai. As simple as that. How much? How to do that? 29,000 divided by 2. That will give me for 1 year. That is 1, 2 1s are 2, 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 8, then 1 is remaining, 1 and 0, 10, 2 5s are 10 and these 2 zeros. So it is 14,500 for 1 year. So this is 14,500. Once we get for 1 year, we can find out for 3 years, isn't it? How to do that? 14,500 for 1 year into 3. So that is 43,500. You must do the multiplication properly by writing like this vertically. Okay? 3 zeros are 0, 3 zeros are 0, 3 fives are 15, 5 1 carry, 3 fours are 12 plus 1 13, 1 carry, 3 ones are 3 plus 1 4. So like that we have got answer 43,500. Very very easy, simple unitary method. Okay. How much more will be the interest on rupees 25,000 at 9 PCPA for 5 years than for 3 years? Students here you are supposed to know in simple interest the interest amount is same every year. In these kinds of sum I have seen students finding out the interest for 5 years then they will again do the entire thing for 3 years then they, they will do the subtraction how much time will be wasted in that isn't it here this is not expected from you you have to work smartly to save time and energy at the time of examination isn't it ok I will tell you what is to be done see here they want us to find out how much more interest for 5 years than for 3 years? Means they want us to find out the interest for 5 years, then interest for 3 years, then do subtraction. But we, we are not going to do that. We have to save time and energy. What are we going to do? Because we know interest for every year is same. So why to find out for 5 years and then 3 years to arrive at 2 years? No, we will arrive at the interest for 2 years directly. Okay, five. see 2 is not given anywhere in the sum. We have found out that 5 minus 3 is 2. So straight away we will find out the interest for 2 years. Chalo, aage hai. Here what is given? Principal. Principal is 25,000. Rate is 9. And number of years straight away 2. Here we are not going to use 5. And then again 3, then minus in. Why? Straight away 2. This is the intellectual part of this particular sum. Now, interest, find out the line. Now, nothing intellectual part is remaining. The main intellectual part was lying here. Once you know this, this is very simple. How to find out? I P into N into R upon 100. That to everybody knows by now, right? So P is 25,000. N is 2. R is 9 upon 100. Two zeros, two zeros. Let's do this multiplication. This is the answer. Right? 250 into 2 is 500. 500 into 9. 9 fives are 45 and 2 zeros. So 4500. 4500 is the answer. Students, you saw how simple is the simple interest. The name itself suggests simple. Right? Naami kafi. Simple interest. This topic is very simple. Only thing is you are supposed to read the question properly 
analyze it properly, use the information given to us properly and calculate it properly. Okay? Students, now we will stop here. Again I will come with the important chapter with important sums. Okay? Students, if you like my videos, then don't forget to share with your friends and uh, do subscribe to my channel in case you have not done it so far. I will come with the next video very very soon. Till then, what are you supposed to do? You know, study well and very important thing is, correct? Enjoy studying. Bye-bye.